and also the Vice Minister of Trade of China. We uh, have had long discussions. This has been going on for quite some time. It will be by far, if it happens, the biggest deal ever made, not only the biggest trade deal ever made. It will be the biggest trade deal by far, but it will also be the biggest deal ever made. Uh, the two largest countries doing a trade deal, there won't be anything that will match that. And we'll see what happens. We've done very well. Uh, we've had a uh, very, very strong relationship, as my relationship is with President Xi. Uh, I think we'll start by reading the letter that President Xi sent to me and to us. Uh, it puts us off to a good foot. And then uh, we'll also repeat a couple of the remarks that the Vice Premier stated. And then we are going to have Mr. Lighthizer speak for a couple of seconds. And uh, we're then going to get back to business, and you can go and have fun and write your stories. So uh, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. And if you could start by reading the letter from President Xi, maybe you could speak louder. Message from President Xi to President Trump. Mr. President, I send you my best wishes. As a new round of high-level consultation is being held between our two countries on economic and trade issues, I ask Mr. Liu He to bring to you sincere greetings and best wishes from me. Right now, China-U.S. relations are at a critically important stage. Last month, we had a successful meeting in Argentina, in which we agreed to work together to build a bilateral relationship based on coordination, cooperation, and stability. That was followed by the good conversation we had through a phone call and the letters of congratulations we sent each other on the 40th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. Guided by the agreement we reached, our economic teams have engaged in intensive consultations and made good progress. I hope our <coughs> two sides will continue to act in the spirit of mutual respect and win-win cooperation and step up consultations by meeting each other halfway in order to reach an early agreement that works for the interest of both sides. Such an agreement will send a positive signal to our two people and the broader international community. It will serve to ensure healthy development of China-US relations and contribute to steady growth of the world economy. Mr. President, in our last phone call, you said you wanted for China to buy more agricultural products. I have made some arrangements about which I believe you might have been briefed. As I often say, I feel we have known each other for a long time ever since we first met. I cherish the good working relations and personal friendship with you. I enjoy our meetings and phone calls in which we could talk about anything. It falls to us to work together and accomplish things meaningful for the people of our two countries and the world at large. Mr. President, if there is anything, you could always approach me through various means. I hope we'll keep close contact in various ways. As the Chinese Lunar New Year draws near, my wife and I wish to send our New Year greetings to you, to Melania, and your family. May you, may you enjoy a happy and prosperous New Year. That's a beautiful letter. We appreciate it. Uh, you may go with the Vice Premier statements. And then um, I'm going to ask you to say a few words, but you know, please. Uh, the Vice Premier said that President Xi <coughs> attaches tremendous importance to his personal friendship with you and hopes to you to see your continued success. And over the past two years since you took office, you have made tremendous accomplishments on both the domestic and diplomatic front. Thanks to your policies of uh, tax reduction and deregulation, uh, the U.S. economy, as I heard from my American colleagues over dinner last night, is now enjoying high growth and low employment uh, with unprecedented prosperity. And it is because of your decisive decision that has directly facilitated the major breakthrough on uh, the relationship between the U.S. and the DPRK. And under the strategic guidance of you and of President Xi and you, Mr. President, it is hopeful that China and the U.S. 
will have the possibility of striking a historical deal on trade. And my trip to the U.S. this time is to follow through on the important agreement reached between you and President Xi to uh, accelerate the 90-day consultation between China and the United States in the hope of striking a comprehensive deal. And we've been working conscientiously with Ambassador Lighthizer and Secretary Mnuchin over the past couple of days, and our discussions are going well. We have uh, achieved a lot of important <coughs> consensus towards the direction of striking a comprehensive deal, which is to be ultimately reached between you and President Xi.